Hello. Today we look at mass to volume conversion and volume to mass conversion. To go from mass to volume, I need to go through moles, and to go from volume to mass, I still need to go through moles. So moles is my middle factor. Now, Avogadro says that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure will occupy 22.4 liters, okay? One mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure will occupy 22.4 liters. So this is a standard. 22.4 is a standard. So for every one mole, okay, so for every one mole, let's write that down, one mole of any gas equals 22.4 liters. Okay, having said that, let's do our first conversion. Example one, how many liters, okay, that'll be the volume, are there in 1.85 moles of neon gas? So we'll do a regular setup, okay? What's given, always begin with what's given, and I'm, and I'm given 1.85 moles is given to me of neon gas, okay? So that's the beginning as always. And we do our usual cross-section, okay? And we have here at the bottom one mole, because that's my standard. I can start with one mole always if I'm giving moles. And on top, I have the volume, the standard, okay? And that would be 22.4 liters, okay, of neon gas. So just do the math, what would you get? Okay, so you have 1.85, 1.85, times 22.4 equals divided by one, which makes no difference. And the answer is, okay, 41.44 liters of neon. Okay, so there we have it. One mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure will occupy 22.4 liters. Okay, so therefore one mole equals 22.4. And the question says, how many liters are there in 1.85 moles of neon? So I begin with that, 1.85 divided by one mole, which makes no difference in this case, and times 22.4. Multiply those two on top, divide by one, and it gives you 41.4. Let's do another sample. The question says, how many liters are there in 5.65 moles of carbon dioxide? Okay, so I need to be careful here because I am given, I am given a gas, okay, but I don't have the actual, the actual elements and say for the symbols. Okay, I don't have the symbols for the elements. Let me rephrase that. But I know that carbon is C. Okay, I know that oxygen is O and it's dioxide, so it is two, CO2. That is carbon dioxide. Okay, moving on. I am given 5.65 moles. So I begin with that. 5.65 moles of CO2. Now, my usual cross section, and I have one mole at the bottom of CO2, and I have 22.4 standard of CO2. Okay, so do the math and see what you get. So this is what I got. I'm giving 5.65 moles of carbon dioxide, okay? I just needed need to know the symbol so I could just write it down. At this point, it makes no really importance on, on the question. Divide by one mole, and on top I have 22.4. This is my standard, okay? If you notice, these two numbers, okay, simply change in basically nothing so far, okay? The only thing that changed so far is the given. So I have 5.65 times 22.4, divided by one, 
And when I plot that in the calculator, I ended up with 126.56 liters of carbon dioxide. If you got that so far, we're doing a good job. Okay, now let's go in reverse. We're gonna go from liters given, okay, to moles. And as usual, I begin with my given. I am given 2.57 liters of krypton, okay? And I do my usual cross because I need to cancel something. And I do cross over here, cross over there. Now, I need to cancel with liters. If I am giving liters of something, I need to cancel with liters at the bottom. And the standard is 22.4 liters. That's the standard in this case of krypton. Okay, I'm going into moles. And the mole standard is one, one mole of krypton. Okay, so now I have 2.57 liters given to me times one divided by 22.4. This is the setup because liters here, liters will cancel liters. Okay. And uh, of course, that gives you liters, cancels liters. And the only thing as far as variable left is now moles. So now I do 2.57 times 1 divided by 22.4. What would you get? I ended up with 0 0.115 moles of, of krypton. I did 2.57 times 1 divided by 22.4, and I ended up with. 0 0.115 or 0 0.1147, same thing, I rounded off, okay, to three spaces over here. Good, good job. Let's do another one. You try this one and see what you get. We have, question says, how many moles are there in 3.02 moles of nitrogen dioxide? Okay, so first of all, I have nitrogen, which is N, Oxygen is two, so, oh, sorry, O2. There we go, that is three gas. Do the setup and see what you get. Okay, a little correction on the question. The question should have read, how many moles are there in 3.02 liters? Okay, not moles, because I am looking for moles. So I am given 3.02 liters, cancel with 22.4, and then I have one on top which is the standard, what would you get? Okay, so you load in your calculator 3.02 times one, which of course is the same thing, divided by 22.4. And you end up with 0 0.135 or 0 0.1348, okay, round it off, and that would be moles of nitrogen dioxide, okay? and O2. Okay, so that's what you get so far. We were given the question to find moles, and the question gave us liters. Okay, I had an error at first with moles and moles. So liters given, divided by liter standard, times one mole on top, and I end up with 0 0.135 moles of nitrogen dioxide. On this next sample, we will go from mass to moles, and then from moles to mass. Let's look at the question. How many liters are there in 54.2 grams of nitrogen? I've got to be careful now, and it says just N, okay, just N itself. So I am given grams, so I need to start with what's given to me, and I'm given 54.2 grams of nitrogen. Okay, not in two, they just want me to do N. They specify that. I cancel with the mass of nitrogen, which is, in this case, is um, 14. 14 is the mass of nitrogen, and I have the 14. I'll put them on zero if I want two grams of N. Okay, just N, they don't want N2, just N. And I go to, I go to here, 22. Point four liters of N, and that's what I have. Okay, 
I bypass the moles. I could have written moles and moles, but I bypass that. Okay, make it simpler. And now you plug in 54.2, 54.2 times 22.4. Make sure you press the equal sign, please, for enter. Now I divide that by 14, and that gives me 86.72. Let's try it again. Okay, two attempts, just in case we did a, an error on the first one. 54.2 times 22.4 equals divided by 14. And I end up with the same thing, and it is 86. 86.72, in this case, liters of nitrogen. Okay, so I hope you're following the sequence. Okay, from past lessons, we're saying that I begin with what's given. I cancel with, in this case, the mass of the element, okay, which is 14. And on top, I should end up with what I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for 20 liters, which is only 2.4 standard. Good. Let's try another one. The question says, how many grams of Cl2? Now, they, they want chlorine, but of course, they want two. Are there in 6.5 liters? Okay. Put the video in pause and see if you com could come up with the answer. Okay, this is my answer. And I was giving grams, sorry, I was giving liters in this case to look for grams. So liters given, cancel with the 22.4. This is your standard. Don't forget, if we have liters on top given, you should have liters at the bottom, standard. And now on top, I have the mass of Cl2. It's two of them. Each chlorine is 35.4 or 4.5, okay? Times two give me 70.9. And now I have 6.5 times 70.9 divided by 22.4. Let me try it again. 6.5 times 70.9 equals that divided by 22.4, okay? And I ended up with 20.57 grams of chlorine gas, okay, or CO2. Important, if you're given liters, cancel with liters and go to what you need to search. In this case, it's grams. Prior example, I was given grams. I canceled with grams and I went to liters, which is what they wanted me to find in that case. Okay, we just did a few samples and I hope it helped you out.